hi friends welcome to my channel and this is Citrix certification video training um, and this is the fourth video of this series in this video I'm going to show you how to create configure a new Citrix site from um, Citrix studio so let's have some idea about my demo environment which we are going to use so we have four virtual machine uh, as we have used in last three videos the first machine is win2k12 dc01 which is my active directory server you can verify from here I have installed Active Directory DNS and DHCP role on this server. On a local server, you can verify the server name and my domain name is victorinfosol.com. And the second server is Citrix DC01, which is basically a Citrix delivery controller. And I have installed 8GB RAM, and this machine is joined on, on, in my domain. And you can verify from here the is role has been installed together the when we install it install the citrix delivery controller so uh, you can verify the server name and domain name and here you can see i have logged into citrix studio so nothing has been done on citrix studio yet welcome to citrix studio we can set up the site from here so the first thing Mm, we have two Zen server which we have installed in last video. You can see here we have Zen server one. If we go, yeah, you can see the Zen server one, and same you can see here Zen server two. So we have two Zen server, one Citrix delivery controller, and one domain controller. So let's configure the uh, first site so when you log into server and launch the Citrix studio you can you can launch from here also go to apps here you can see store front Citrix director Citrix studio is there so uh, I have opened the Citrix studio here you can see the we have set up site deliver application and desktop to users so click on that it will launch the pop-up screen to configure the site so site setup we have to like in pretty unconfigured site we can add we can uh, add the, a fully configured production ready site recommended for new users so I'm going to use this one so noida citrix click next and here you need to configure the database so if if you have database on remote server you need to put here the server name and slash the SQL instance name in my case I, I have installed the Citrix uh, I have to install the uh, SQL server express edition which is by default coming with Citrix uh, Citrix studio and Citrix um, core components so you can see the here local host no, and the sit SQL Express if same if you want to verify you can verify from here if you go to services and type SQL you can see here the SQL Express instance is running and same has been given here so and we have three database total three database one for site one for monitoring and one for login purpose so click next so it's licensing server address is uh, we have installed the licensing server on uh, this server itself so it's connected at uh, port and you can see connected and to trusted server you can and I I, I don't have a, a, any license key for like um, Citrix studio for now so I'm using just a demo version which is 330 days trial so click next and now we have a we have a connection the uh, option to uh, connect to the our ESX host which is providing the physical hard hard uh, hardware to run the virtual machine and everything so you can see the create virtual machine using this studio so so if you don't want to do do this uh, right away you can go ahead and select the no machine management then it will not give you the option to add a ser add a servers here so just just to purpose I'm going to add my one server here Citrix 0 uh, Zen server 01 to add you can see here we need to put the information uh, uh, connect uh, connection address like this HTTPS slash slash Zen server dot com so in my case it's HTTPS colon slash slash Zen 
server zero one dot vector console dot com and put the credential root and my password for my Zen server and you can set the name like Zen server zero one connection name or you can say cut the connection name Zen server only and go ahead and click next and now it will take to the storage management so we have two type of storage here the first one is use this uh, use the storage shared by hypervisor means the storage which is connected with uh, all the all the hyper hypervisor means shared storage so so for till now I don't had configure any store shared storage for our uh, Zen server we, we have a separate video for this how to create and share the shared storage on like uh, different different ES uh, Zen server so now I'm going to use a use the local storage for the hypervisor it means all the virtual machine and uh, associated virtual machine hard drives is going to be saved in like Zen server local and uh, local media only so good and go click next now you can see the you can see the local storage on Zen server 01 so click next and here we have a name so call it Zen server network and click next and we have uh, some additional feature to app to enable the add DNA and app uh, app we are publishing so also we'll take care about these things later on so just go ahead and click next and we have a summary here like site name site database for uh, all three and uh, you can see here no highly available means the the database which we are configuring here it's not highly available so the delivery controller name we have license server connection type and the, all the details so click finish and now you can see the studio is working on generating database schema so it will take some time 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your servers to create the complete site so now you can see the creating database citrix node citrix site so it will create a three database like for site database monitoring database and login database then it will deploy the all the required component for uh, creating the sites now verifying connection connections to the database obtaining further information so all the three database has been created now configuring services for Citrix Now you can see it's creating the store for front cluster for us. So when you are deploying or creating the site, it it will uh, by default create storefront for you, and you can access the URL of a storefront after deploying the sites. So now you can see the configuration successful. We have deployed uh, the site successfully. The site name you can verify from here. You now desert tricks, and we have uh, all the all the things which is required to admins uh, do the administration for Citrix is now available. So if you want to test the site configuration, you can go ahead and test the site configuration anytime. So you can see it will give you uh, the total test of number 238 and it will test the everything which is required to uh, have a, a, a production uh, a perfect production Citrix uh, site so it will take some time just be patient it will give you the option if you have any failed test and warning you can go ahead and check the things so, uh, if they, they can trouble uh, they can be troubleshoot and you can look on that issues to make a healthy sites 
for your trick so just just wait for a few seconds to get the test result so we have good news all the 238 tests are successful no warning no uh, no fail so go ahead and close this and we have different different things here so so we will cover all the all the all the tasks uh, which is mentioned here all the things which is given here so for now it's done we have su successfully created the site for uh, Citrix studio um, so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye